Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech doing some pack openings today. I've got three pack openings for patrons on the channel. And just as a quick message out there for anyone who has recently subscribed, um, please check your email for anything from Patreon. I've got two people so far that I'm missing addresses from, from last month's openings, and then two more individuals that I'm not sure what packs they want opened. So please look for anything from Patreon. If you don't see that and you're a patron, please feel free to send me an email, brian at brianrow.org, and I will get things cleared up and out to you as soon as possible. Um, we've got some really cool pack openings today. First, I've got three uh, German packs here that were donated by the individuals out there. Um, the USAG Weisenberg group, the same group that uh, was one of the earliest patrons of the channel. And they're out in Germany and they've got a very cool play group out there. I hope to make it out there and actually play some games with them at some point. Um, but they sent three packs to give to the next three people that had uh, signed up on Patreon and uh, we're doing those pack openings. In the pack openings today, we also have um, two packs of Modern Masters, which are there at the $25 level. And I've had a bunch of people ask, like, how long do I need to stay at that level? Can I change my pledge afterwards? And there's no time commitment. There's no requirement to be there. Um, you can move to another level at any time. If you subscribe once at that level and then move to another level, you will still get the uh, single pack opening. It is a one-time pack opening. Patreon is really not a way for me to sell things. It's a way for me to uh, reward people who are really cool fans and long-term end up uh, picking up new equipment, that type of stuff, and I greatly appreciate it. So if you come in at any level and you want to change to a different level after you've gotten the reward, that's 100% cool. I completely understand. Uh, let's jump in here, and I'm going to start uh, with one for Rick, a new patron of the channel. Um, we've got two packs here for him. The first is going to be an Origins pack, and the second is going to be um, this Dragon's Maze German pack. So let's start with the Origins pack. Origins is definitely really hot right now. Between Cons and Origins, I think they're the two best packs in Standard to open. Uh, the Planeswalkers are really making a splash in Standard. It's great to see some very playable Planeswalkers. And then um, Hangerback is doing really well. I, I definitely underestimated that card and I've come around to how powerful it is, even playable in some eternal formats. Let's get a good centering and focus on this. Here we go. We got healing hands, infernal scarring, dragon fodder, yoked ox, disperse, orchard spirit, Mantle of Webs, Bogart Brute, Alchemist Vile, Unholy Hunger. This is one I actually really like in Draft and Unlimited. Uh, Meteorite is not bad either, especially for your higher end decks. Uh, Zendikar is Royal. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, put a 2 2 green elemental token into play. I've seen this dominate in Limited. I actually think it's too slow, but I've lost to it, so I could be wrong there. Chalum Tome's a classic, going all the way back to Alpha and Beta. Oh, nice! Chandra's Parents. Very, very good card. Very playable. Very happy to see that in the rare spot here. 2-2 two, two for 4, puts out two 1-1 one, one colorless flyers, and then allows you to sack artifacts to do damage. Great in limited, clearly first pick here. Uh, playable in standard also. There's some build around decks here. And we've got a forest there. Very, very nice first pack. Very happy. Now let's see how the dragon's maze does. I'm not gonna remember these cards. I'm very, very bad with card names. I know card ability is much better than names. So, bear with me on this pack opening here. Oh, starting from the wrong side here. Oh, 
Oh, this is the clue stone. Golgari. Oh, I'm so bad with card names. I can't see them. I mean, legacy, vintage, standard, whatever is tournament playable. Elemental's not bad here. Labyrinth Behemoth? A 1-3 blocker there. Uh, decent removal. Ooh. A lot of color fixing in this pack. This is not one that I drafted a lot of. Do not know a lot of the commons right off. Oh, Lightning Helix. The, um... Oh, whew. This is the four damage, four life version of Lightning Helix. Helix of... And then an angel's name here? Interesting. That's, that's a fun card. Very nice. Six, six. Oh, I should really know what this is. At the rare spot. I do not. Well, these German packs are going to be embarrassing. Profit and loss? Very nice card. Tajik, wonderful commander there. Very nice. Mm, and the Is It Maze Land comes into play tapped. Very nice. Fun packs overall. Well, those will be coming out to you soon here, Rick. Uh, next, we've got Yo Yo Junkie. And I'm actually going to start with the Kamigawa pack here because I want to leave the Modern Masters for last. Uh, Kamigawa is one that I only played online. And I mostly play constructed decks, so this is going to be... I'm not going to be able to help with what the cards are in here. Uh, very cool. There's at least three or four that I might recognize. The rest is going to be... who knows. Geist to zero three. Let's get a focus on this. Okay. Stabilizer's on, autofocus is on. Here we go. Still not in focus. Let's try this. Let's move down closer.
Okay, we've got a better focus here. Got an 8.5 there. <laughs> no idea what this is. Oh, nice. Ah, we're in the uncommons. We've got the uncommons on the bottom of the pack. So the next one's actually going to be the rare. Oh, let me see if I can figure out what this one is. Um, so these flip cards become legends. This is definitely not the Grave Robber, the one that I like using in EDH. I do not know what it is. Deal 10 damage if someone is at 10 life, I think. Here's interesting. Mm, I think this is prevent two damage. Kind of a healing priest. Oh, this is one of the best cards. Definitely a powerful limited card. Um, it is a spell with arcane that you can basically reuse as removal. I think it costs you life, though, on the reuse. I've definitely used this card. So what was our, what was our rare? Oh, that was our rare. I'm pretty sure he does 10 damage if you're at 10 life, but I'll, I'll have to look it up, try to drop an image in. Geist. 1-1 one, one when he dies, do a damage? Or somebody loses a life? Ah, uh, Frostling, very nice. Got a wall there. Forecasting cost, instant. Looks like might even have a arcane? Not sure. This is the tough way to learn German. I really wanted to learn German. Wow, I clearly did not draft enough of this set. I remember very few of these cards. Oh, I do remember this ninja though. Uh, ninjutsu allows you to throw it in if you've got an attacking creature. Maybe that creature has to be unblocked. When he does damage, though, you get to draw cards. Very nice. Fun pack. Okay, let's move on to the Modern Masters pack here. Yo-Yo Junkie, good luck. Let's hopefully get you something amazing out of this pack. Dream Spoiler Witches. I actually like these guys in Limited. If you can get the trigger to work, you can control the board. Reach Through the Mist is very nice. Imperiosaur, 5-5. Five, five. Not bad at all. Paddles of Insights, a nice combo card. Dispeller's Capsule. Decent removal. Warren Weirdling. It's in a Goblin's deck, it's not bad. Arcbound Stinger, the Modular. Sting Scourger, very nice. Fairy Mechanic, solid in the Artifacts deck. Gleam Resistance, with basic land cycling. I really like the cards with basic land cycling. Help with color correction a lot. Sand Sower, very nice. Spell Snare. Solid card. Very nice. Very inexpensive right now. It will go up a lot over time. Tromp the Domains is a very powerful card in Limited. Stoneweller Giant. EDH favorite. Great card. Now we're moving on to the foil here. Hill Climber Giant. And we've got a Spider Token. Well, Stoneweller Giant, Tromp the Domains. Tromp the Domains is definitely the pick here in Limited for me and spell snare long term has a lot of value to it very nice pack congratulations yo-yo junkie got two more packs left 
Um, we're going to go with the Nyx pack first. These are for Victor. Monstrous three here, two, four. Mm -hmm. Got a tapper here. Cyclops here at five, four. Decent monstrous ability. Six casting cost is a little high though. Okay, getting into the uncommons here. The ability to tap down creatures with enchantment here. That's a Shamira, very nice. What is the rare? I should really know this. Do not. Oh, I'll look it up. Try to drop it in. And evolve. Okay. Modern Masters here. Good luck. Deep Cavern Imp. Court Homunculus. Kith King Greatheart, Thalid, Bells of Insight, Zorb Fiss, Siphon Life, Retrace, that's a fun ability, Test of Faith I actually really like in Limited, an aggro deck, Ethereum Sculptor is very nice in the Artifact deck, got some Unlimited cards so far. Not a big fan of the cloak, although it does come back with dredge. Manamorphos, stapling combo decks. Tide Hollow Sculler, that's a very solid card. I'm actually surprised it doesn't see a little more play in modern. I think if we see combo take over too much, this is a solid disruption in an aggro deck. Reach the branches. Very, very nice card in Limited. I've definitely won games with it. Angelic Grace, solid combo card. Let's see what the last one is here. Ah, the Cloak. Not that amazing for out of the foil spot here. Well, at least you got the token to go with the Reach of Branches. Uh, this is the kind of pack that I would definitely want to open in Limited. Reach the Branches is very nice. A few other good cards here, too. Well, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Got some cool stuff coming up this next month. Um, I've got a lot of videos that are currently in production. I've been doing a little bit of commentary over at Card Kingdom. Um, I've got one or two more vintage uh, videos to put up and I'm working on some EDH videos currently. Uh, thank you guys. Everybody's over there supporting the channel on Patreon. Greatly appreciate it.